Have you ever wondered how a machine learning model makes its decisions? Well, one of the answers to this question lies in a concept known as decision trees. Imagine a game of 20 questions. Each question you ask brings you closer to the answer, right? That's exactly how a decision tree works in machine learning. It's a flow chart-like structure where each internal node denotes a test on an attribute, each branch represents an outcome of the test, and each leaf node holds a class label. The topmost node in a decision tree is the best predictor called the root node. The decision tree builds classification or regression models in the form of a tree structure. It breaks down a data set into smaller subsets while at the same time, an associated decision tree gets incrementally developed. The final result is a tree with decision nodes and leaf nodes, where decision nodes are used to make any decisions, and leaf nodes are the output of those decisions. The algorithm begins with the original set as the root node. On each iteration of the algorithm, it iterates through the very useful process of finding the attribute that returns the highest information gain. This attribute then becomes the decision node, splitting the dataset into smaller subsets. The process continues on each subset until a leaf node is reached. Now you might be wondering what this information gain is. In the context of decision trees, information gain is a statistical property that measures how well a given attribute separates the training examples according to their target classification. The attribute with the highest information gain is chosen as the decision node. Once all attributes have been processed, what we're left with is a decision tree where each branch represents a possible decision, and each leaf node represents an outcome. This is a powerful tool for both regression and classification problems. To summarize, a decision tree is a machine learning model that uses a tree-like model of decisions. It starts with a root node, splits the data based on the attribute that provides the highest information gain, and continues this process until a leaf node which provides the final decision, is reached. It's a simple yet powerful way to visualize the decision-making process. Remember, the beauty of decision trees lies in their simplicity and interpretability. They're easy to understand, easy to visualize, and provide a clear explanation of how a machine learning model makes its decisions. So the next time you're faced with a complex decision, why not consider using a decision tree? It might just help you see the solution more clearly.